Hi, I'm Dr. Rahul Bharad. I welcome you all to my series What Life Has Taught Me Yesterday. Today when I'm recording this video is 17th of September 2023. I'll be talking what 16th of September has taught me in life. I've come to Navi Mumbai uh, for a marathon and yesterday uh, I went at Kalwa station after many years, almost 12 years I have been uh, here. Last time I visited Kalwa was 12 years back. Uh, I had to go there uh, to collect Beeb for a marathon. Uh, Beeb is something which is electronic uh, device which is attached to the runner's t-shirt so that we can measure time of the runners uh, to complete that run uh, accurately. So I went there. I had a very good experience uh, while going there and uh, seeing how Kalwa station and Kalwa area has developed over the last few years. What lesson I got from that I'll be discussing in this video. So stay tuned till the end of the video to know more about that. About the most interesting news I came across yesterday is about NASA questioning Mexican claims of finding aliens. Now we all know three four days back uh, Mexican journalist uh, Mosheim has claimed that he has found two alien uh, dead bodies, uh, mummies you can say. Uh, in 2017 he is claiming that he found it in Peru. But now NASA is asking for more evidence. NASA has also officially asked them, asked him to bring samples in front of all the scientific community so as to prove whatever point he has to prove. Most trending news I came across yesterday is an important blow to Australian cricket team. Travis Head, an important batsman all-rounder, has uh, got injured uh, in fourth ODI against South Africa. He has been in a very good form in last few years and now Australia has got an important blow in the form of injury to Travis Head player. I'll be discussing these things in the later part of the video. Most important lesson I got from yesterday's uh, Kalwa visit that I went there for a beep collection. It was at NCP office at Kalwa. Uh, a very good nice hashtag sign of Kalwa uh, was there. So I had clicked a picture there and uh, the way Kalwa station has developed over the last 12 years is tremendous. We all know last few years and especially 2-3 decades India has progressed a lot. but to witness this uh, is a very special feeling. Uh, I always uh, think and believe that whenever I visit Mumbai for any reason or whenever I have stayed here for almost my fellowship in 2014-15, I have learnt so many things per minute in this city. Mumbai, Navi Mumbai, these are the places where you get to observe so many kind of people. So many different variety of people live here. So many are tired they continuously continue to do their work even if they are tired trains are full most of the uh, things are congested crowdy but i would say every incidence every experience you get in mumbai teaches you a lot same thing happened with me yesterday also i uh, went to collect that beep it was very good experience while coming back by uh, local train uh, I stayed at my brother's house so I while going back and coming back by local train <clears throat> the experience I got is something which uh, you cannot pinpoint what exactly it was uh, every person you observe in the local everybody is doing his or her own 100% giving their 100% effort to make living uh, that makes this city a very special place if you have been to Mumbai or Navi Mumbai ever and if you know what I am talking about that whenever you visit Mumbai or Navi Mumbai and you observe these kind of people you get to learn so many things from these people. You see poverty, you see so much of richness wherever, you see so much of poverty in some of the slum areas also even on uh, railway stations also and at the same time you see, you see so much of richness also when you visit some of the uh, malls etc. Uh, yesterday I visited uh, Seawood Mall. Seawood Mall is uh, extremely uh, good and people have lot of money. That is the feeling you get when you visit there. 
but whenever you come to a station like suppose for example kalwa or any uh, mumbai suburban station you get a feeling that there is huge difference between the rich and poor people so these are the mixed feelings you get whenever you visit mumbai and that is probably the best part of being in mumbai or best part of experiencing mumbai's life and that's what i love uh, i love about mumbai so being uh, coming here for a ma- marathon uh, collecting that beep visiting kalwa station after 12 years and again and again uh, getting that enriching experience of observing people and trying to learn from them trying to uh, see uh, their dedication towards F- uh, their routine life and trying to make our city our country a beautiful place to live uh, is really an enjoyable experience and i just wanted to share that experience with you all so that was the most important lesson i got from yesterday's life that revisiting kalwa area and kalwa station after almost 12 years has been a fascinating and fantastic story for me yesterday most important trending most important news i came across yesterday is about nasa nasa has asked for uh, proofs to mexican journalist who has claimed that he has found uh, alien mummies who have who have very long head who have only three fingers in both the hands and they were fa- he is claiming that they were found in peru in 2017 what nasa and all the scientific people in the world are asking for is proof of that so they are asking samples to be presented in front of all the scientific community across the globe and then only they will accept the reality or whatever claims that journalist mohsen has presented uh, they will accept that so it's an interesting thing that someone has claimed that he has found uh, alien dead bodies or mummies and actual scientific community including nasa which is one of the most topmost scientific community or uh, space related com- scientific community you can say across the globe has asked for samples of it now what happens actually whether he will present it or not we don't know but it is a, it is obvious that he has to prove his point because the claim he has made is not something which is very small is not something which we can ignore and go ahead with it so we have to have strong evidence to declare whether he is correct or not and for that nasa has asked for the proof and he they have also asked for the samples of that this news i'll be sharing link in the description box if you really want to know what is that news all about and who has asked how nasa has claimed uh, what peru cultural minister also has said she has also asked for the same thing that she did not know any scientific community fa- finding th- these kind of mummies in peru in 2017 then how come a mexican journalist claim that they were found in the 2017 here so most Uh, trending news i came across yesterday is an important blow to australian cricket world cup now we all know every uh, team preparing for the world cup 2023 is declaring their squads many changes might happen till the end till they officially de- declare their squad but an important blow has occurred to the australian cricket team that is travis head which who is in extremely good form in all three formats for australia in last one and a half year has been injured probably he has got a fracture because of uh, ball injury during fourth international odi match which was being played between south africa and australia yesterday so if travis head is out of the world cup for australia that would be a very big blow for their team probably cameron green might be called in in place of travis head but the performance he has given uh, especially in ashes he was the third highest run getter for australia plus he was an important batsman in the, in their winning uh, test championship final against australia in last this year so getting travis head injured for australia is a significant blow who is going to replace is not uh, sure is not clear yet let's see what is uh, going to be the squad for australia they are going to come to india for three odi matches series soon so we'll get to know more about that in the forthcoming uh, days but just wanted to share this trending news in front of you that travis head is an important player who has got injured during odi against south africa and we as indians also uh, we should know that what kind of changes are happening in the other teams also then only then 
we can come to know what opponents we are going to face in the World Cup because we are having our first World Cup match against Australia at Chennai. So are you prepared for that match? Do tell me in the comment box. If you really like all these discussions and these trending and important news, please share these videos with as many people as you want. For today, we'll stop here. Bye-bye.